Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Baim and you should really think about subscribing because great things happen when you do that. So subscribe. For this week's video, we are doing another I Try Your Hobbies and for this week I am doing white charcoal drawings. I don't really know exactly what to call it. It's a thing though. It's a black pad and you draw with white charcoal, like a white pencil. And I thought because I draw normally that this would be extremely easy. So I tried it. So let's do some white charcoal drawings. Let's do it, party people. Okay, so for this project, I bought a black drawing pad by Canson, and it is 11 by 14 inches. And as you can see, as the name implies, the inside is black paper, not white. I also bought these white chalk pencils by Generals. It's just a pencil form of white charcoal, or they call it chalk, but it, it's a white charcoal pencil. Then I got, also by Generals, a compressed charcoal in the color white. Th these are just basically like sticks of chalk. And then the only things that I actually had in my stash were my erasers. I have my triangle eraser by Generals and my kneaded eraser by Generals. And then I am also using my Derwent graphic pencil in the shade 6H. So because I've never done this before, I wasn't entirely sure how to sketch the picture out because I felt really uncomfortable trying to sketch it out with the white charcoal since it was so pigmented. So I used a regular drawing pencil to try and sketch the picture out, but it's a black background so it was actually extremely difficult to see the graphite on the background. But because I had a ring light shining down, you could kind of see the glare from the pencil marks. And so I was just following the very faint pencil marks that I made in the pad in order to kind of lay out a sketch of what I would be shading later. I am almost positive this is not how you're supposed to do it since graphite does not show up well on black drawing pads, but this is the only way that I could think to do it and I don't feel comfortable doing drawings without sketching out like almost like a rough draft first and then I would go back over it with a darker color, but since all I had to work with here is black and white, this was my best idea. So after I sketched it out, you can kind of see the graphite lines in the pad, I was just going over all those lines with the chalk pencil that I bought from Generals. And all I did here was just completely outline his whole body, his arms, his hair, everything, his eyes, his nose, mouth. I just did a thin outline of the figure with the chalk pencil. And this is when I realized charcoal is extremely difficult to work with. It wasn't necessarily hard to work with, but my issue is, I don't know if you can tell, the way that I hold my pencil, my hand rubs against any lines that I laid down. And this is an issue when I draw too, but with chalk, it just made everything extremely messy. It was also extremely hard for me to make clean lines with the chalk and the charcoal. I'm not sure why. I think because when you press too hard down, it's not as 
hard is graphite, so it kind of was like breaking apart as I was doing the lines. There was also the problem when I made a line that I didn't like, the erasers were almost ineffective on the chalk and the charcoal. It was kind of like when they say you can erase colored pencil. You can erase it a little bit, but it was leaving behind smudge marks from where I had erased and where the old line was. It wasn't completely erasing the things that I messed up. And as you can see, there is white smudge marks everywhere on the pad from my hand dragging along as I continued sketching. It was just a complete mess. And doing his face with the charcoal was just its own task. Honestly, faces are probably one of the hardest things when drawing, but doing it with the charcoal, it was so hard. The tip of the charcoal pencil just wasn't getting fine enough for me to do the smaller details like his eyes and his eyebrows, his pupils correctly. It was just too thick and when I sharpened it the pencil kept on breaking apart because I might have been pressing too hard down on it. it. His face was so hard for me to do. So this was the rough outline. I then got out one of the compressed charcoals and started filling in the bigger pieces. The drawing that I was doing, the background was completely white, which is why I thought it might have been an easier option for this project, but instead I was making a huge mess. It was a little strange for me doing this because when you're doing a white charcoal drawing, it's like everything is backwards. It's the reverse of when you would be drawing with regular graphite. Because normally you have a graphite pencil that comes up as gray and black on a white background, but what I'm doing here is a black background and I'm trying to make the lines all in white. So it was like living in an alternate universe or something where I had to learn how to, to shade backwards. I had to leave the shade outlines black and then color everything else in. And it was just really strange for me doing that because that's not something that I'm used to doing because I've never done it before. I've always created the shading and left stuff white and then shaded everything in afterwards, not leave the shade blank and then color around the shading. It's just confusing even talking about it. I don't know if that made any sense, but if you know what I mean, let me know in the comments below. So once I colored around the figure, I realized there was a lot of harsh lines from filling in and I just decided to use my finger and try and blend it in. I do have blending stumps. The problem was I was in the kitchen, the blending stumps were in my room, and I was just being lazy. But your finger works the same, okay? It's the same thing and it's a lot cheaper. Another thing you can use if you don't have blending stumps is a q-tip. I think the main reason I wasn't using my blending stumps is because my blending stumps were very dirty and they were covered in graphite and I didn't want to risk rubbing it into the white and creating a gray. So I just decided to use my finger and a q-tip. So if you don't have a blending stump, just go in your bathroom and grab a q-tip. It'll work. You can also roll up a piece of paper and you can use that as a little blender too if you don't have blending stumps. The biggest issue I had with this is that there was just white chalk everywhere. I tried laying down a napkin so my hand wasn't rubbing against it as much and it didn't work. 
I tried to go back and erase all the white marks, but it ended up looking extremely muddy when I was done with it. And as you can see, my drawing looks nothing like the original. I was kind of upset. I wish I could have done it better. I think I might go back and redo this drawing, but with graphite, something that I'm more comfortable with and see if it turns out any better. All right, well, that's it for this week's video. Um, this was a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. I thought because I was a drawer, I had this one in the bag. No, I didn't. It was, it's like everything was backwards. Normally, my pad is white and I shade with a dark graphite but in this case the pad was black and I had to fill everything else in and kind of draw the shading and not color into the black to make it seem like it was shaded I get I don't it's it was really confusing and I wasn't used to it but I tried my best and I drew the character Greedling, or tried to draw the character Greedling from Full Metal Alchemist, and um, I think it turned out too great, but you know, A for effort, right? So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of my white charcoal drawing. But anyway, I'll see you guys back here next week. Peace. Mm-hmm.